Hey you guys, um, it's been a while, uh, it's Animal Boy 64 here, it's been a while since I've made a video, so there's a lot of updates, um, I got rid of the two upper geckos that I had, and, um, uh, traded them for a bearded dragon, um, so yeah, a lot's been going on, um, I actually do have leopard, I do have leopard geckos too, um, uh, rescues that are leopard geckos, and uh, I'm going to do an update on Aubrey, uh, show you the two upper geckos because there's one that I need help with, and um, uh, my bearded dragon. So basically though, my room's a mess, so um, I guess I'll show you uh, Aubrey first. She's grown a lot. Okay, so let me say happy Memorial Day, but, um, anyways, here she is. She's grown a lot, um, since I first got her, which is like a year ago. She's about a foot longer. She looks small, but when you take her out, she's, I mean, when she stretches out, she's like two feet. Let's see if I can get her to not stretch here. Uh, let's see. Doesn't really want to stretch, but there she is gotten a lot bigger. Um, she's really cool. Um, she always has hard times shedding, but uh, actually this last time she did pretty good shedding one piece. I don't have it. I always throw mine away. But here she is. Um, so that's Aubrey. She's grown a lot. Um, I'll show you all their setups in a different video, but here's Aubrey. So. So, next I'm going to be showing you the leopard geckos. There's one that I'll really need help with. Um, basically, the story behind them is uh, the pet store by my house had them. And, um, well, I have one that I asked if I could just take care of because he wasn't doing too good. And he gained a lot of weight, like uh, 10 grams, I think, which is actually a decent amount. And so, uh, and then this other one. Basically what um, happened is she had a mate and she doesn't eat without another leopard gecko on the tank. So um, he uh, decided to give me her because he sold her mate so that I could put her in with the other one that I had. And um, she really is doing bad. I've never seen a leopard gecko as, as bad as her. I don't know what's wrong with her. But basically um, they were going to see if I gonna see if I could try to do something. But so far, she hasn't gained any weight. She's just stayed the same. So I'll go ahead and show you her first, and um, you tell me what you think. She's yeah, she's really fragile. So. Okay, here she is. Um, if you can see that, she's really in bad condition. By her head, her head is, doesn't have any weight on it. Her tail is like, she's, I don't know what's wrong with her. Um, I've been giving her T Rex Hydro Life, which is like a medicine to keep them hydrated and stuff, but I don't know. She, uh, she's not impacted. Doesn't have any parasites. Um, she eats sometimes, but I don't know if she just has a case of failure to thrive or what. But she is. She. I'm. I feel bad for her. Anyways, that's the first gecko, and next is the gecko that I um, uh, rescued him to. 
and he got 10, 10 grams on him because he was skinny at first and now he's pretty fat so I'll go ahead and show you him. Okay, this guy um, is my favorite leopard gecko that I've ever had. I've had about, I've taken care of about six, um, including a Tokyo gecko. But his personality is pretty cool. Um, you can see. Uh, if you know what kind of gecko he is, like what lep, I mean, what morph he is, because he's obviously not a normal, as you can see. His tail is um, degenerated, but he has a lot of blue on the top of his head. He only has basically. I don't know. It's hard to explain his pattern. You can see it. There you go. That's him. I haven't named him yet. I haven't named either of them. But um, he's really cool. He's a pretty cool gecko. He'll bite sometimes, but uh, I don't know. He you can tell he just tries not to bite really hard. He just barely bites. But that's him. By the way, I'm filming with my new camera. That's the reason I haven't been able to make any videos, because my mom broke my camera. And so, I finally got a new one after like a year. So, anyways, uh, that's one of the geckos. <laughs> Okay, last but not least is um, the new breed of dragon. Uh, he's not very new for me. I've had him since December, but uh, he's really cool. He's in a 55 gallon, and uh, he has a pretty big house. But I'm getting another breed of dragon as a mate, a female, because he's a male. Um, July 10th, which is the expo. I know for a fact, for certain, that I'm actually really going to get it. So, because it's consider my birthday present so I'll go ahead and show you him. His name is Oscar um, because he's grouchy all the time so Oscar the Grouch. Anyway, so let me go ahead and show you. Okay, so Uh, it's not sand. He um, has a uh, crushed walnut shell as a thing. But there he is. He's actually not being that bad today. He's a shed right now, like deep shed. He actually is a citrus mixed with a sapphire. So he's deep in shed. He'll probably shed t tomorrow or so. But um, I have a name already planned for the female. It's kind of funny, the name. It's catchy, but I'll, you'll find it out when I get her. I'll make a video, but um, his name is Oscar. He is a, I don't know what you would call it, but it's a citrus to a sandfire. He was, he was the dullest out of the babies, but I like him the most. Uh, he's probably eight inches long, and so that's him. He likes the camera, I'm guessing. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's Oscar. That's my update. Um, yeah, anyways, see? Now he's being himself. Anyways, that's the update. I'll make more videos now that I have a camera. See you guys later.